Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 7.9 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 7.9 is about fractions and the properties of addition. Uh, I'm going to just read through the entire lesson because this one's kind of a big one. Um, so you just need, if you're in my class, you're filling out page 301 as you follow along. Okay, so the associative and commutative properties of addition can help you to group and order add-ins to find sums mentally. You can use mental math to combine fractions that have a sum of 1. Um, just as a recap, the commutative property of addition states that when the order of two add-ins is changed, the sum is still the same. For example, 4 plus 5 equals 5 plus 4. So in other words, you can change these numbers into any order before you add. You can switch the order. And the associative property of addition states that when the grouping of add-ins is changed, the sum is still the same. For example, 5 plus 8 in parentheses plus 4 is the same as or equal to 5 plus 8 plus 4 in parentheses. So in other words, associative property means that you can change the numbers in the parentheses. The parentheses, you know, are what we're supposed to do first. So you can change the numbers around to add different numbers first rather than going from left to right. Okay, so unlock the problem. The map shows four lighthouses in the Florida Keys and their distances apart in miles. The Dry Tortugas Lighthouse is the furthest away and the Alligator Reef Lighthouse is the furthest east. What is the distance from the Dry Tortugas Lighthouse to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse traveling between the four lighthouses? Okay, so I want to make this bigger so that we can see this better. So what it's asking us to do really in this question then, whoops. What it's really asking us to do in this question then is to add 70 and 5 tenths right here to 43 and 6 tenths right here and 34 and 5 tenths right here because we want to go from the alligator reef to the dry tortiga lighthouse. So we want to add all of those distances up. So we can use the associative and commutative property, meaning basically we can add in any order that we want. So first it says use the commutative property to order the add-ins so that the fractions with a sum of 1 are together. So we want to get the fractions of a sum of 1 together. So we're looking just at the fractions 5 tenths, 6 tenths, and 5 tenths. So we want to put the two together that would add up to 10 tenths. So we're going to do 5 tenths and 5 tenths because that would add up to 10 tenths. So we're going to put those ones first. So we're going to first do 70 and 5 tenths plus the 34 and 5 tenths. And then after we do that, because we know that's going to give us an extra one, an extra whole, we will do the last one, which is 43 and 6 tenths. Okay, so use the associative property to group the add-ins that you can add mentally. So basically, we want to put parentheses around the ones that we want to do first. We've written them in order now, but we want to add in the parentheses to let everyone know that we are doing 70 and 5 tenths first plus the 34 and the 5 tenths. So the two that you want to do first go in the parentheses. And then after we finish that math, we'll do the 43 and the 6 tenths. So now we can do this one in our head. We know 5 tenths and 5 tenths is equal to one whole. So we'll that add that to our 70, which will be 71. And then we have to do the 34. So 71 and the 34 are equal to 105. So we have 105 plus, we can't forget about this last one, 43 and 6 tenths. So, 6 tenths is going to be our fraction still because there's no other fraction to add to it. And then all I have to do is 105 plus 43. So, 5 plus 3 is 8, 0 plus 4 is 4, 1 plus nothing is 1. So, 148 and 6 tenths is my answer.
So the distance from the Dry Tortugas Lighthouse to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse traveling between the four lighthouses is 148 and 6 tenths miles. So just to recap, we use the uh, commutative property and the associative properties to help us know which way to add. And just to point it out again, you want to look at your fractions first and see if any of them can add up to an, a whole. Because then you want to do that first if you have one that can add up to a whole. That way you don't end up having to change from mixed numbers to fractions or fractions to mixed numbers and back. Okay, so that is Lesson 7.9. If you're in my class, the password's Snow White, and you should have been filling out page 301 in your big math book. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message.